Day 37, here's my water source for the morning. A little piped spring, already filled up, getting ready to hit the trail. It's windy, looks like rain may be moving in sooner than Friday. We'll see. Day 37, back on the trail, getting the early start this morning about 8.30. I'm <clears throat> gonna try and do about 10 or 11 miles today, kind of pick it up a little bit from yesterday. Did almost eight and a half yesterday, first day back on the trail. Feeling better, got a good night's sleep. And uh, other than the fact that it looks like rain may be moving in, uh, looks like it's gonna be a good day. Just filled up with water and I'm ready to go. Talk to you about later. 10 o'clock, been hiking for about an hour and a half. Already climbed that mountain right there. It's a ridge mountain. Came on up here, this is the way I came this morning. Really windy today. So far, no rain. Looks like it might blow over. Hoping so. And here is where I am headed north on the AT. Up this little mountain. I'm not sure what the name of it is. If it even has a name. Well, climbing is hard. I'm still not 100%. It's taking a lot out of me. But uh, I'm slowly but surely. Going up that mountain, onward and upward, <laughs> upward and onward, still smile. No guns or dogs allowed except during man hunts. All right. I just filled up with water. It's going on one o'clock in the afternoon. I've got about a little over five miles to go and it's all uphill about uh, 1400 foot climb in five miles this is the last water source until that shelter so i just filled up here and uh here it goes oh look at this nice there's et south where i came from et north where i'm headed what it looks like on day 37. It is beautiful. Start my big up right now. Got a nice little flat trail here to hike on, and I just thought I'd let you see what it looks like hiking in the Cherokee National Forest. I'm coming up to a road up here.
there's the road right up there. But the trail keeps on going this way. Not as warm as it was yesterday. Yesterday it got up to about 84. Right now it's about 76 degrees. Sun feels pretty good. Got about a 25% chance of rain this afternoon. It sure doesn't look like it's going to rain. I'm supposed to be climbing a mountain. Just winding down in here. It's about 9 o'clock. It's looking like rain. Got a big up here to begin the day. I'm going to try and do about 13 miles today. See if I can get back in the groove. So, here we go. Talk to you later. Good morning, Appalachian Trail. This is what it's like, y'all. First thing in the morning. See that guy up there? He's right ahead of me. we got to climb this mountain all the way up there. That's how the day begins. <laughs> but it sure is beautiful out here. <laughs> look at this. It's starting to look like the rain might blow over again today. We might get lucky. Here's where we just came from. Off of that mountain there. We camped up on top of that one. And then we went down in that little gap there. And now we're hiking up here. I left camp about 9 o'clock this morning. It's now about 10.15. I've been hiking for an hour and 15 minutes straight uphill. And now it looks like I may be at the top of this one. There's the trail where I'm headed. And it's fairly flat. Look at this view. trail where I just came from. Whew, man, what a climb. We must climb a great high mountain to reach God's gracious kingdom. In his words you'll find us 
trail do you take? Exposed Ridgeline Trail, Appalachian Trail, or the easier Blue Blaze Trail? And of course the answer to that question is whichever one you want to take. You hike your own hike. But this is part of the reward of taking the AT. The exposed ridgeline trail. Would you look at this? This is the view from Howard's Rock. And here's the view from the other side of the ridgeline. beautiful up here. This is the top of, I think it's called Fire Scald Knob. Something like that. It's worth the climb. Look at that. I just thought I was at the top a while ago. I thought, turn around here, that knob over there, I thought that was it. That's where I took the pictures from. Now I've come all the way down through here and up this trail down here and all around. And now I've got this to climb. So, there we go. Climbed up about 600 feet or so past that uh, Jerry Cabin shelter, and I'm up on top of a bald. There's only one tree up here, and uh, you can see the white blaze on it. Not much to put blazes on here. Anyway, I failed to mention earlier, right before I got to Jerry Cabin shelter, I hit 300 miles on the Appalachian Trail. How about that? 300 miles in, baby, plus some. More later.